Hello every crafter, I hope you all had a good Christmas. Unfortunately mine was a bit different this year as you can imagine. But we got through it, we got through it. So I just wanted to answer some questions that seem to be floating around the comments. For example, which machine should you get? So this is the LK150. It's a relevantly, relevantly new machine. It has got 75 of 75 needles. It is a mid-gauge machine meaning that these are a bit further apart in comparison to the standard. You can quite happily knit a double knit on here. Chunky, you need to do on every other needle as I have shown on my previous videos, um, how to make a baby blanket with chunky wool. For chunky, you do it on every other needle. You pull your tension all the way to 13, so it's on the loosest tension possible. It will feel jaggedy at the time but it will get the job done. You can also do Aaron on this um, double net that I've mentioned, double knit. Two ply and four ply will be a bit stringy on here and you won't get that nice tight stitch. This is more so a cross between machine knitting and hand knitting. If you want to do anything with chunkier wool, where it's a much tighter stitch, I recommend getting a bond machine. Um, which is your chunky knits. The needles are much further apart. Um, they're bigger needles. You can't interchange your needles. You have to use the ones that come with the machine. So that's the LK150. Now, if you want to work with your finer fibres, like your four plies and your two plies, two together, one at a time, here's one that I'm working on at the moment. You're better off getting a standard gauge. Now this is the Brother KH881, which they do not sell anymore, so you will be going secondhand. Downside with secondhand is you've got to repair the machine yourself. You can go to a second person to do it, um, but you're better off doing it yourself. Learn your machine. The Brother KH881 is a lot more sophisticated given the fact that it's also an older machine. You've got a punch card reader, so you don't have to change your colours manually. You've got your standard row counter. You've got a ladder at the back. It does also come with a lace carriage that is hiding behind the PVA glue over there because it comes with its own casing and everything. You have these metal pieces that hang off the edge so that you can take your machine off if you want to work on all the needles. This is actually a 200 needle bed, so you can imagine if one breaks in the middle, just stick it to the end so you can get some more. Uh, it's also got a sponge bar that you have to take out and replace occasionally, depending on how often you use the machine. Other than that, tighten it. Um, this is a jumper I'm working on for, for my mother at the moment. It does have its own signature, I need to sort that needle out. It has its own signature one where it occasionally skips a stitch. But for the age of the machine, it really does the job. It works. So between the two machines, which should you get? Honestly, it depends on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to be knitting with the finer walls that you have to get online on the cones... So something like that cone right over there. Let's just zoom in on that. That is a cone of wool that you are looking at right there. Those are your cones. I'm also working from two at the bottom at the moment because like I said, it is a finer wool. You've also got your tuck stitch, your main colour, your part, everything on here. Hold, knit. It is... A beast of a machine. Aside from that, the LK150 is much simpler to use, beginner friendly. Anything that you want to do, you have to transfer over. You can get a insignia carriage for it to make doing the patterns easier, but you still have to bring the needles forward yourself as there is no punch card. That is the two main flatbeds that I use. Other than that, you have got your circular machines that I've done a video on previously that are great for hats, scarves, tube blankets. They do work in panels as well as straights. They can take the chunkier wool, but go easier with them. 
they prefer Aran wool to double knit. But do be careful because the wool can catch on them. The Centro has a counter, whereas the Prim Maxi is a bit more basic. So then the question is, which machine should you get? The first question you should ask yourself though is, what wool are you going to work with? If you're going to be working with Chunky, get a Bond machine. If you're going to be working with Double Knit, get the LK150. If you're going to be working with the cones of wool, get a standard Brother machine. You can also buy a ribber for it to give you a different variety of stitches. There's your answer, guys. That's what I'm going with. And I will catch you next week where I will be making pom-poms. I understand that it was kind of a Christmas video, but given everything, it got delayed. But pom-poms can be used for everything. They don't have to be just snowmen and snowball fights. I will catch you on the flip side, guys. See you next week. Love you long time.